you madam need a disclaimer in the beginning of your videos where you say hey i have no idea about nutrition i do not understand the word healthy all right guys welcome back to the channel if you're new my name is bobby guys today we're gonna react to ryan h y i don't know why but this video was in my description box it is titled what i eat in a day vegan and yummy let's do this and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome <laughs> <laughs> Today we are in my kitchen because what? it's food related. We're doing a what I eat in a day video. So, mm -hmm. okay. Mm, another one that likes to animate herself. Super narcissistic. So for those of you who may be new, I am vegan. Um, I was raised vegetarian and then kind of later dabbled into veganism and then I've been vegan for quite some time now. And I guess if I had to put a label on my like diet, um, it is probably more along the lines of like intuitive eating. And by that, I mean, I just eat a lot because I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. no. Why are you hungry? Ever question that? No, not really, right? So if you would eat a vegan diet that offers sufficient calories and you're still hungry, why could that be? Okay, first case scenario, sure. Too much insulin secretion, right? That leads to insulin spikes and lows and that makes you hungry. Sure. But what else could it be? Your body craves micronutrients, not only macronutrients. If you're eating enough macronutrients, so fats and proteins, because they're the only essential ones, and you're still hungry afterwards, then you're craving micronutrients. Of course, you're missing those because in your vegan diet, you do not have them. On your vegetarian previous diet, you would get some fat soluble vitamins, some cholesterol, and that would make you feel fuller. Really, what I mean to say is I don't restrict myself in any way. Um, I don't try and have like below certain numbers of different. Not restricting. You're vegan. Anything. I just eat what I want to eat. Like, no, to eat. you I don't, like because you're vegan. Disclaimer: My body size and shape is uh, largely genetic. Um, of course, diet is going to help that, but yeah. I am also just a smaller human so anyway i'm not trying to push this diet on anyone this is just what i eat in a day it changes day to day and hopefully it will give you some ideas and also some places to look if you are looking for some really delicious healthy meal ideas so i will put a kind of brief okay let's see what she sees as healthy list in the description box along with any links to people i'm mentioning and uh let's look at what i eat in a day Okay, cool. so for breakfast, this rarely changes. I usually have a tofu scramble. I find <laughs> that it keeps me... F yeah, coming from the vegetarian background, why would you have a tofu scramble, right? Because you're eating what you want. It's not that you want eggs secretly, right? <laughs> full for longer, and I also find that my brain just does better when I have like a big hit of protein in the morning. So I usually mm. use whatever <laughs> veg that I have on hand. Today it was mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, peas. Yeah, okay. Bread filled with anti-nutrients and here you have the phytoestrogens in the tofu. That's all. There's nothing really nutritious or healthy about this. Um, and I also put some tempeh in there as well. I basically just fry yeah. it all up. Tempeh is fermented soy and it is a slightly better option than the tofu. However, still not optimal. I use some nooch and some slap your mamas. Some <laughs> nooch. Seasoning. Nooch is nutritional yeast, right? That's what the cool kids say nowadays. Nooch. <laughs> And then once it's mostly cooked, I'll add a little splash of cashew milk just to like free up all the... And I have to add, of course, nooch because you're missing cheese as a vegetarian. Flavors from the bottom of the pan. And it also adds a little moisture to the scramble as well. And then I'm just having some uh. multiple grain toast. I usually just buy whatever seems the most healthy. And then I just wash that yeah, down. Yeah, because you have no idea about nutrition. With a big glass of water and, of course, coffee. Mm, and oat milk latte. Of course. We use the Califia oat barista milk. It's really good. Yeah, because it reminds you of dairy. You are craving lactose and eggs. Because, sadly, that's the only thing you know as a vegetarian. Sorry, I thought I could hear geese. And then I also take my daily medications and supplements. Um, I daily medications and supplements. Corner. That should be helpful as far as recipes, supplements, stuff like that. 
What? Alright, so moving on to lunch. Uh, usually eat lunch way too late because, like I said. So it's normal now to list your medications and supplements in the vegan world, right? That's totally normal now. We're just going to ignore this and say, yeah, guys, I'm just going to list my supposedly healthy food and on top of that, my medications. Go carnivore and you don't need medications. My breakfast keeps me cold for a very long time and I also just forget. So today I'm having some leftover lasagna. Oh. I do have a video on that which I will link to. Yeah, for again, you. craving I'm dairy. And spoon bowls as kind of like a side to go along with that. They're really awesome to have on hand whether you want to have them as a meal or whether you want to split them and have them as the whole dish mimics animal fats again. This is a traditional Italian dish in this case, of course. What you're really missing is meat and cheese. The sides or however you want to use them. I actually did that with my friend the other day. I brought Unbelievable. them over to our house and we just... What was healthy about this again? ...a bunch of them and had it with some other stuff from the freezer. Yes. They're a really great service great. for like plant-based smoothies, soups, bowls. Whether you are just really busy, you're maybe like unwell or recovering. Oh it's a great God. service. Obviously, you're probably not going to do it all the time. But once in a while, I do find it to be super helpful. And I also have a discount uh, link, which I will pop down below of course for you. Do. you. Um, they did send me those. I think that's the only food received in PR <laughs> in this video. So anyway, usually I'll opt for leftovers for lunch or I'll go with something really easy like um, avocado toast or avocado on rice cakes. Just something that I can eat quickly without thinking about it too much so that I can... Yeah, don't think about it too much. Otherwise, you could get the idea that you're actually lacking all of the nutrients that you might need, right? There is no protein in what you just listed. It's just carbs and vegetable oils. And stay in the zone because when I'm in the zone... Stay in the zone? I've got to stay in it because it's hard to get back in. All right, and then for dinner... This is one of our uh, favorites in this house. It is a must-have for hormonal oh. hunger, shall we say. And that is carbonara. Oh my god, the next dairy mimicking food. Don't you see what you're doing there? Everything that you're eating just reminds you of your vegetarian past. You're trying to replicate cheese. You're trying to replicate milk. That's what you're doing over and over again. And consciously or subconsciously, the mushrooms replicate meat. That's what that is. Mm, wow. So we do a twist on a recipe from Euphoric Vegan, which I will link down below. Because wow. I am a child and weird about textures. Okay, I love onion. I understand the importance of onion. Delicious. The texture, it will make me gag. <laughs> so what what is the importance of onion? Why do you need something that's antibacterial? What we do is we will blitz the onion and garlic in with um, just like a basic cashew cream that we make. Uh, cashew cream, cheese again, this is unbelievable. And uh, mushrooms. And then instead of the bacon... Okay, let me clarify this. Maybe she's watching this video, right? The reason why I mentioned that you're mimicking your dairy foods is not to nag you and tell you how awesome dairy is and how much veganism sucks. No, there is a reason why you are craving those animal foods. Those animal foods are nutritious and their plant alternatives are not. That is the simple truth. You won't find fat soluble vitamins in those plant alternatives. They are all isolated gunk, just processed slop. Your body craves those foods. Your tongue recognizes that this is nutrition. This is why it tastes good. Somehow vegans do not understand that. If I eat a steak tartare, that is raw meat, I love it because it is nutritious. My body recognizes the nutrition. It's that simple. Your body won't recognize the nutrition if you would choose to eat raw broccoli. Because that is the case, you have to mask it with dairy mimicking sauces. In the Euphoric Vegan recipe, which is mm. super good, we make super. the shiitake bacon from the chef Chloe. Oh, you make bacon which, now. <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with either of those people, Euphoric Vegan or chef Chloe, I Jeez. will link them for you. They are awesome resources for like just delicious, flavorful, simple food. And I think... Yeah, it's not food. It's all delicious delicious it's all about delicious with vegans you are like children you're just seeking something that will satisfy your taste buds short term or rather trick them let me put it that way 
you are not interested in nutritious foods. You're not interested in providing something healthful for your body. You, madame, need a disclaimer in the beginning of your videos where you say, hey, I have no idea about nutrition. I do not understand the word healthy because everything that you listed here is far from healthy. It is super destructive for human health. The only thing I do differently with the shiitake bacon is that I add a little bit of smoked paprika while it's like crisping up in the oven as well. But yeah, sure. super simple, tastes delicious. Yeah. I guess I'm, I've never had bacon, so- Delicious. That it is that accurate, but it's delicious nonetheless and it adds a little- mm, Delicious. Kind of smoky, uh, Let's make a drinking game out of this. Every time she says delicious. Your meal. Cheers. Oh, and I, uh, I did wash that down with the gin and tonic. Yes. So that Go. is my what I ate in a day. It what? That was it? All the time. Probably the breakfast is the most like stable, the same as always kind of thing. I either skip breakfast because I forget or I have a massive breakfast more often than not. The only other added things mm. I may have in there are like, uh, I guess, drinks. So I'll often have like cranberry juice, teas, um, stuff like that. Sugar, and stimulants. Usually after dinner, I will have chocolate. Uh, more stimulants and um, sweet orange tea before bed. Oh, more sugar, so more sweet. stimulants. I actually discovered that tea in my therapist's office. <laughs> and just you need a therapist. Mm, you know. Congratulations. So she just admitted to be mentally ill. I assume those medications are for her mental illness. This is nothing new because your brain is lacking crucial nutrients. Simple as that. You do not have any DHA or EPA in your diet. As much as I hate to play the studies though card, studies have shown that vegans have shrinking brains. Yes, and you've been raised vegetarian. This is why you are mentally ill. And now you're further enhancing that mental illness through the plant foods. Absolutely saddening to see. Eat meat and get rid of the medication and get healthy again. All right, and then there is this video called My Mental Health Story, which will prove our point. Hey guys, so I have something a little bit different for a kind of lifestyle beauty channel. Probably not the most anticipated video I'll ever do, but maybe the most important one I'll ever make. So this is my mental health story. So to start off, I'm just going to explain what my issue is. Issues. <laughs> I was diagnosed wow. with cyclothymia, which is like a lesser version of bipolar, which can very easily transition into bipolar if you don't seek any treatment. <laughs> For me, at least, it was always very physical symptoms. They definitely started as mental, but they manifested themselves in physical ways. So not sleeping, um, losing a lot of weight, kind of feeling so anxious that I don't think I was even really breathing properly. I would have like numbness and tingling and lightheadedness. And I was just like very low, dark, heavy mood. I did definitely have an element of mania with it, but I think I very quickly learned to utilize that Sad. in my favor. Um, when you spend so long being so low, not being able to like do or really sometimes even feel anything, as soon as you feel that high kick in, you make the most of it. Um, I don't think I ever really engaged in any super risky behavior. I think I probably drank too much at times, but my highs were very much like, this is my only chance to get things done that I have to do. So I'm gonna probably not sleep and be super uh, productive. So uh, with that, I also have a lot of anxiety. I think I have a definite element of social anxiety, as well as just general panic attacks and stuff like that. But my, uh, it, essentially my issues were unpredictable. All the symptoms in the book. This is just saddening to see. A great case of this is Jordan Peterson and Michaela Peterson. I urge any vegan or vegetarian that experiences exactly those symptoms to check those two out. Through the carnivore diet, they healed all their symptoms, not only physically, but mentally. Depression vanished. When I was a vegan, I was severely depressed myself. Once I started reincorporating animal foods, my depression alleviated. And once I excluded all the planned foods, my depression was gone. Nowadays, I have a stable mental state. Not too high, cranked out on the sugar roller coaster, and not too low. Just a solid state. 
overall good stable mood and it's absolutely saddening to see do i have to remind you this girl is raised vegetarian we talked about this on this channel quite often the parents buy into a dogmatic belief system and force it onto their children it's not necessarily the parents fault it is the system's fault to promote this destructive practice this is not a human diet this is not meant for human consumption this is not even meant for animal consumption we have to get rid of all the grains the soy product all that processed slop we have to return to regenerative agriculture where we have grass fed cows healthy animals healthy people this is the future and not this absolute sad example she is a beautiful woman that went through so much suffering because of her upbringing and instead of turning the ship around she decides to go onto a vegan diet and further compromise her health absolutely sad example all right guys this is it for today's video if you liked it leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do so if you want to support the channel guys as always all the links are in the description box you can join our subscribe star team it's a brand new community where you will receive a comprehensive nutrition guide straight after joining the team on top of that you get instant access to our reclaim your health discord channel where we can connect 24 Seven. This is crucial because we will have weekly exclusive private Skype group meetups where we can discuss any subject matter that might come up during the week, no matter if it is nutrition or lifestyle related. If you want to support Bobby's Perspective through Amazon, the links are in the description box as well. It doesn't cost you anything extra, guys. We just get a small percentage of your purchase if you want to support local farmers and grass-fed beef delivered to your doorstep is something that you are interested in then check out butcher box in the description box as well or you might be interested in cbd it is a great remedy for all kinds of ailments we have the links for you as well all right guys but this is it for today's video as always much love and peace